Hello everybody, it's the 1st of December, Merry Christmas. Um, it is my favourite time of the year, I love Christmas, I love the prep for Christmas so much. Um, and it is time for our second annual Black Sheep Wolves Faff Along. Now you're probably sort of thinking what on earth is Sean about what is the Faff Along, but some of you may remember it from last year. The Faff Along is simply faffing about making Christmas things. Last year we did a faff along kit for you to buy the kit and join in with some bits and pieces. It's slightly different this year. The rules of the faff along are there are really no rules. You can make and do whatever you want. Um, I will tend to now ditch my larger projects and I do like to concentrate on some small little things. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm going to be faffing around with um, over the next few weeks. I will be keeping you updated. Um, I'm going to do, we are going to do a faff along live every Monday night where I'm going to have a drink of something festive and a bite of something festive as well. It will be done in front of my Christmas tree from home. We'll have a little bit of Christmas chat. Uh, so the first one is going to be next Monday and I'm going to be drinking tea and having a mince pie. It'll be at seven o'clock next Monday night on the make along page. And I'll show you some of the things that I've faffed around with in the meantime. But let me talk you through some of the kits we've got. Now, I will say there is no pressure to buy anything to join in the faff along. You don't even have to faff along. You can just log on to the live and watch us. Um, if you want to buy some stuff, you want to make something new, I've got some suggestions here. But we do have on our website, if you go into the inspiration page, we have lots of Christmas free patterns to download, to make with scraps. We've got some lovely stash busters. One of my favourites, and I made loads of these last year, there is a lovely crochet Christmas stocking. Um, and there's lots, there's crochet bells, there's all sorts of bits on the Black Sheep Walls page. So don't feel like you have to buy anything. All our Christmas make-alongs always have an element of you just being able to get involved and use your stash. I always think that's really important as time of year. There's enough things for us to spend our money on. However, if you do want to make something, I've got some ideas for you here to join in and some of the things that I'm going to be making over the next few weeks. Now, I might be moving backwards and forwards a bit on this because I've got things everywhere because I've got a bit carried away with Christmas this year. So the first thing I am faffing around with or have faffed around with so far are these pom-pom wreaths from Trimits. There is a rainbow pom-pom wreath and then your more traditional green. I'm holding it upside down. This one is possibly looking a little bit worse for wear because it's been to a show. My leaves need re-sticking. But these are fabulous kits. Let me get, put those down, get you the kits. This is the pop Trim It's pom-pom traditional wreath kit. Everything is in here. You've got the yarn, you've got two pom-pom makers in two different sizes. You've got the wreath, you've got the attachments, so the holly leaves and the berries. This, the only thing you need for this really is a pair of sharp scissors, I would always say sharp scissors to make pom-poms, and some glue, but really simple. That one's $16.99. Then you've got the rainbow wreath kit, and that one's $15.49. That's got all the yarn again and two pom-pom makers and the wire wreath. Now, with both of these, if you are making these, there is more than enough yarn in these to make really fat pom-poms, so just bear that in mind. So that's one of the things I have faffed around with already, and I'm going to faff around with a bit more. We then have these lovely, I've shown you these a few times, I love these, Trim It Christmas Tree Decorations. We've got a dash and, we've got the gingerbread house, this is the Norwegian star, and these all come, I'm here again, in a little kit like that. And these are only 2 dollars uh, but again, don't, you know, don't feel like you're under pressure to buy anything. We have patterns there free for you to use and use your stash. We also have these little pom-pom decorations. I've made this one. And then I think Helen's made these from the tree in the shop. So these are really great to make with the grandkids, these as well. And all it is, is the pom-pom, which is made directly onto the little cardboard figure. So there you go. That's lovely. Julie nearly joined us for the, uh, the make-along then. Um, and these come in these little kits, so they're fab. Oh, and there's a little red one as well, a little red robin. I've just thrown something on the floor. Now, the other thing I have been faffing around with, and I'm going to continue to faff with through Christmas, is the Nativity Three Kings, which I saw these on uh, one of our suppliers' websites and just fell in love. You've got the Three Kings. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll get this one. 
And then you've got the nativity, got G uh, Joseph, Mary, and little baby Jesus there. These are really, really lovely kits. I'll show you, this is the start of one of my wise men. So there you go, so I'm gonna be faffing. I don't know if I'm gonna make all of these in time. I do tend to, as you know, over promise and under deliver on my making and never don't finish some things off. But I have really, really, really enjoyed making these. Now I also, I've shown these on the live before. These are, I like to try and do some different things leading up to Christmas as well to give my mind a bit of a break. And these are really lovely. These are gingerbread heart decorations for the Christmas tree. Really easy embroidery. And all you need for these is a hoop and the kit. And then, I'll show you these lovely little things actually. I mean, I've just nabbed these out of the shop. I haven't made these, but these are beautiful little patterns from Shapers for um, a cup of Mr. Claus. There's Mr. Claus. Look at that one. And then there's Mrs. Claus. Aren't they gorgeous? Those are both available as patterns. Great for using up some of your stash. I also, Janie Crow does the most amazing Christmas decorations and I've got a couple of her patterns here as well. So there are festive mini stockings there. And then you've got the festive crochet decorations. Jane's done these as a monochrome but you can add all sorts of colours in these. They really are fabulous. In fact, these are some that Helen has made for our Christmas tree in store. They're gorgeous. Again, brilliant. If you've got little bits of cotton DK hanging around or cotton four ply, they're perfect for it. And then my final faff, I love wrapping presents. And I tend to do a lot of brown wrapping paper with ribbons on. So I have treated myself to a Trim It bow maker and one of the Rico packs of ribbon. There are 30 meter, 30 individual meter lengths of ribbon in here. And these are 8 99 I think these are really good value. Oh, look, these are just gorgeous. So I'm going to be using these to wrap my presents. So I will show you those when I've been doing them. But like I say, we will catch up for our Faff Along Live on Monday night. So join me for a cup of tea and a mince pie at 7 o'clock on Monday night. Um, bring your faffing along. Post us some photos. I think you can do that on Facebook. But post your progress in the Make Along group as well. But as I've said previously, and I'll say it again, there is no pressure. There are enough things that pressure us at Christmas time. Don't feel pressured to join in. If you'd like to, I will be there. I will be faffing. I'll be having a great old time. But make whatever you want and post your pictures and let's just spread a bit of festive cheer. Thanks everyone. Merry Christmas.